to my YouTube, YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host uh, Shaheen. In today's uh, short video, very short video, we are going to look at the small time frame analysis on gold and silver. Things are lo going exactly as you planned, um, but what uh, uh, what is expected on a shorter, smaller time frame uh, is very essential. If you make a small mistake in labeling, uh, it is is and to be a very crucial mistake. So we'll have a quick look at gold and silver on a smaller time frame. If you are interested in seeing longer time frame analysis, you can ha head back to my previous analysis. So first of all, uh, go back. Let's go back to the, our watch list, which is uh, here. It is okay. This is our uh, regular chart. And let's for now delete this. We are looking for. I was just experimenting. Okay. Mm, let's have a look on a 15-minute chart and see how things are headed um, on a smaller time frame. Once again, we were ex anticipating it to be wave A right over here, or wave O A over here. This as wave B right over here, and this as wave C. So things are actually going on exactly as we thought. Um, does that mean that we've uh, the correction that we start started? thought started from over here has ended um, I think the correction has not ended and that's why I wanted to share today's uh, video and the reason I'm all saying is we can easily count a five wave structure if you look at it if you can zoom the chart on a 15 time frame and we were anticipating it to be a five wave structure and that's exactly seems to be a like five wave structure for example this can easily be counted at wave one and two wave three and wave four for example this one hole is wave four and then you're looking at wave five so does that mean we are also uh, reaching the uh, potential resistance point over here and it's a nice shape as well uh, for the correction but I believe uh, that things are only uh, partially uh, ha on have happened only partially and by that I mean we have only completed uh, wave one so I believe that we have only completed wave one right over here and this is wave two uh, of a larger structure which is wave three wave four and wave five so this is what I wanted to share about it. We can easily see a 5 wave structure. That correction that had happened after the 5 wave structure is giving me an indication that we are looking for more uh, upside movement and we can probably easily reach around $65 to $70, $18.65 to $70. Uh, so quite a bit of price movement is left in as far as uh, the 5 wave structure is concerned. Could that be done by tomorrow? There is a good potential that this will be a sharper move. Uh, or it can be a little shallower but I think that we'll need probably a day or two uh, to get this move done but so far we have seen the nice jump going over and as soon as that is complete I'll uh, try to catch up with another analysis and uh, let's have a look how things are happening on silver silver is showing uh, a much clearer uh, five wave structure followed by a correction for example here you guys can see and uh, that we are seeing a five wave structure clearly we have wave one and two wave three and wave four and wave five and then you can easily see a correction falling right over here which is pretty itself wave a and wave b itself is a flat correction and this is a five wave structure so three three five structure you can call it um, a complex structure as well double three as well this can be labeled as well um, but the fact is that this is uh, a correction this is not an impulsive wave on the downside so this is also indicating that the structure that actually started from over here is yet not done we can easily label this chart as the start of wave uh, one right over here wave one and two uh, sorry wave two would be done um, here and wave three and wave four and wave five and I need to redo this uh, right over here so these five wave structure that we are seeing are the subdivisions of wave one and that's exactly I'm thinking and uh, that we are uh, seeing in gold and silver and I think that we are easily going to see somewhere around 21 94 22 dollars in silver and that will be a very nice jump up from the prices below uh, silver has been falling sharply down but I think we are going to catch our our correction right over here and uh, this is going to look very very funky a lot of people are not gonna like it but I'm considering this as in wave A this as wave B and this as wave C right over here on gold side we have wave A B and C differently done wave A right over here wave B right over here wave C is further upside so the shape is a little different but the overall pattern uh, correction is exactly the same I'm ex expecting that we are going to see bullish movement in gold and silver and as soon as that is done I'll uh, follow up with another analysis wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye